Hey team, it's day 34. I hope you guys are doing great and off to a great week. Uh, I was just wondering if you, any of you out there, uh, as I giggle a little bit, uh, when you are you know, doing content for your viewers and stuff, if you just have trouble starting. Like I always like mess up my intro or get going for like 20 seconds and start over again. I don't know why, but once I get going, it rolls. So uh, thank you so much for all your support as always, but let's get into the six goals today. Uh, and also what I really wanna talk about, somebody asked about, can you lose fat and gain muscle at the same time? And we're gonna answer that question and go through you know a few different scenarios uh, because it's not as cut and dry as you think. So we're gonna jump into the six goals. I gotta use red, I don't like that. But you know, whatever. It's uh, now I've just learned that as long as you stay consistent over time, uh, you're gonna get your goals. So that's I mean the big deal is have a plan and, and and drive it consistently. I'm gonna get there. So day 34 and weight was 220 pounds. I actually saw 219.8 today. And I don't really care what anybody says. I know it's only 0.2, but it's still seen like the 219. Uh, is it, it, it keeps you going. It's like it's at tipping point, now you're in the teens. You know, I could be, I lifted heavy legs today, we know what happened last time. <laughs> I gained a couple pounds, uh, ate some pretzels after I got done lifting the heavy legs because I figured I needed some glycogen uh, repletion based on my calories over the last couple days and I was tired when I lifted, so I, you know, I'll probably be back up a couple pounds again because I, I broke my rule of, of you know no carbs two hours before, I mean, it's been a little bit since I ate, so I won't quite get there. But anyway, I was happy to see 219.8. That means we're going. I broke through that 220 range. Bam, the next one, 210. That one's, I don't know when the last time I saw that was. Maybe not even since I started playing college baseball. So, um, 1,530 calories yesterday. So I, I do think that has something to do with the 219.8. I had 1,360 calories and 1,530, so. 124 ounces of water, so I was good there. Six and a half hours of sleep. I mean, it's just the start of the week. I normally am not getting the full seven uh, on the day before the start of the week, so that's not an excuse. I need to continue to go, but, and then yesterday was a rest day, uh, and I'm not mad about that. When you get cranking on your business and, and you're just locked in, uh, and you've all been there, and you got a free day the entire day because it's, it's, it's on the weekend, uh, I did plan on to go lift yesterday and actually do legs yesterday, but I was just in a groove. And you know what I always told you about, um, the reason we don't have activity is one of the required and it's the trifecta is the, uh, you know, calories, water, and sleep is because it was the first thing to go. I was totally fine. I know I'm being consistent. I know I'm hitting my, the main three and, uh, and sometimes there's just more important things. So I dropped that and uh, I got through a good day. So I'm not mad about the rest day. It still is red and I'm, I'm not gonna do that very often, but I'll tell you one thing, I got a ton done yesterday. So 202 grams of protein. Now let's get into the real question. Uh, can you build muscle and lose fat at the same time? So the answer is yes, right? But it also depends on what kind of results you're gonna see, okay? So many times, new resistance training people. Uh, if you don't have a trainer, if you're kind of trying to do this stuff on your own, you know, YouTube and all that kind of stuff, uh, I've found that with anything you do, if you don't follow some instruction, if you're not real resilient with it and things, you just end up quitting. They're just facts. Uh, so if you're a new lifter and things, follow a, a structured program that gives you good instruction, get a trainer, uh, if you don't have that money, there's tons of free things on YouTube uh, you can find. But I mean, it's just something that if you don't go prepared when you get into that gym, chances are you're gonna not get the results that you feel you should be getting based on how hard you're working because resistance training is not easy. Uh, makes you burn a little bit, makes you uncomfortable. And that DOMS, the delayed onset muscle soreness of the two day soreness, DOM, DOMS is always knocking on your door for about the first four to six weeks. And, and even, I mean, it still does. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow after lifting legs, but um, in two days, I'll be sore again. But that's one thing I would say is, depending on where you're at. So when you're a, a new, we're just gonna talk about new lifters or new resistance training people. Remember your protein needs. So many, so many times, if you want to build muscle and lose that fat at the same time, you, you should up your protein because protein is the building blocks of muscle, right? 
and it's gonna do everything like I told you I was doing with my protein. It's gonna help with satiety, uh, and it's just thermogenic. You know, it takes a little more energy of your body to burn. So don't forget your protein. And it is hard to go from basically all carbs and no protein to starting to mix that protein in. So similar to what we did with the water, you know, you, you got to work your way up in it, but you're going to have to track or at least be mindful of what your protein is. Uh, and if you have no experience lifting, I already talked to get a coach, but if you have tons of experience lifting, you may not be able to, and you already have a lot of muscle underneath fat, you may not be able to build as much muscle as you think. Uh, so, and it's not a bad thing. Like somebody my age and, you know, I've lifted a decent amount uh, over the years, uh, I'm probably able to put on at most, if I worked really hard without drugs, now without steroids and, well, I shouldn't say that, but vitamin S is what I call them, but any sort of performance enhancing drugs, uh, you know, half a pound of lean muscle probably over the course of six to 12 months is all I can really shoot for uh, as I get older if I want to, you know, if you want to stay natural and things, which I don't mind at all. Um, but that would be that if for me, when I'm losing these 26 pounds, what I'm going to start to see is the muscle that I've built underneath that. So just be careful how you answer the question on you know, can I build muscle and lose fat at the same time? If you're, if you're a new lifter, and even if you're an experienced lifter and you got a, a significant amount of fat, what we call this is, I didn't even write this down. Let me get this word down for you. We call it, I call it a recomp or recomposition. So I call it a recomp. And what that is, is just basically uh, trading out your fat for muscle. Because muscle weighs, weighs more than fat. So you might not see your weight fly down as fast as you wanted it to if you try to do both and, and you're accomplishing both successfully. But in the end, you'll see your body start to change shape. Your pants will get loose or you know, your um, shirts will get tighter around the chest if you're a guy. Um, girls, uh, you might get your shirts, your t-shirts might get, if you carry your weight around your arms, you know, they might get a little looser around your arm less. You know, your hips, your, your pants, you know, you, you might be a size, you know, I don't even, I don't even want to say any, any size, but you might go down two sizes in pants because I don't really know really well, only my daughter's size. Um, but my daughter has even said, you know, since she goes to a lifting weight class and she's a junior in high school, um, she, she has no, she has no waist. She actually has a really good athletic fit body, but we've had to go buy her new jeans twice now because of, she loves squatting and lifting and, and she's getting more muscle around those. So um, your body's going to start to change and you'll notice that. But if you do have a lot of muscle already, here's what I was getting at. It might just be the muscle that you have. You're, you're refining that a little bit or recomping it a little bit. And you're probably building a little bit too, but losing weight is a catabolic state. Gaining muscle is an anabolic state. Uh, and it used to be like just gospel that you couldn't do both at the same time without drugs. And now there's, there's data showing that, that you could, especially with the neurologic adaptation for new lifters, you're gonna be sore and things like that. But there is, you know, some science behind that you can do both. Most people don't worry about both at the same time. They normally worry about one or the other, but I would recommend everybody, uh, if you can, uh, during your weight loss journey, do some resistance training, some high intensity interval training when you work up to that. Uh, it's really good for you over time. And that's where the, the next thing I was talking about, I think I already talked about it with experience lifting, like where your percent body fat and lean muscle is at. The higher this is and the lower this is, the more chance you have to do this, uh, right? So, I mean, if you're super lean already and you, you just want to lose a little bit off of a, of a lot of the handle or something, chances are you're going to have to go into a completely catabolic state and you might lose some muscle while you're at it. And the last thing, there's, there's the big thing. I'm just going to circle this. I, I don't know if I like drawing on the board today or whatever, but consistency and time. Um, even your professional... Well, your professional guys are on gear. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's too hard for me to try and work through examples because even the natural guys are like, eh, that might not be natural. But all the, the people and the fitness experts that you see, they didn't do that overnight, right? It takes consistency. It takes time, especially if you didn't start out doing that in adolescent years, like right during college, directly after college. Like if you haven't done a ton of lifting or working out, that's why so many people quit is it takes a long time. It takes a lot of consistency. It's hard work. Like this 26 pounds that I'm, I'm doing in 90 days. Yeah, it's not easy. And I'm, you know, as a matter of fact, I, 
I, um, I'm glad I'm doing it because it's really showing me the resilience that I have in myself. But if you want to truly know how you can do this over time, give yourself some time and you will, and you will see your body change. Start out, I do, I always used to do it in six week intervals to see how I could gain strength, maybe not muscle, but I knew if I was gaining strength with my resistance training, it takes more muscle fibers. And, it, and after a, a certain amount of time, it's not just neurologic adaptation. It's, you know, you're actually building some muscle. So I would measure my progress by strength, gain six weeks over six weeks or eight weeks over eight weeks. So you should always have an anchor for this thing. I started out, I took a picture of myself first day. Then I did video, I think on day like 10, because I'm like, oh goodness, I should do a video walkthrough. And then I could like put the videos together so you guys can see me like at three different points, you know? So I'll, I'll do that at the end at day 90 or 91 or whatever it is. I'll put that in, but you want to find some way to measure proce progress because you see yourself every day in the mirror. You see it, you don't notice it as well. People over time and people, you know, the ones, the ones you don't see for like four to six weeks and like, oh my goodness, you're losing weight. And you're like, oh man, I can't even really tell. You, you have changed. And so if you're gonna be doing something like this and, and you wanna get into lifting and stuff, in order for you to keep it going, you have to have some goals, something to say, I am striving for X and make them realistic, you know, the, the smart goals that we talk about, but just ensure that you guys are keeping progress with it and get an accountability partner. That is one of the greatest things in the world. Find somebody who wants to start doing the same thing and get an accountability partner and, and, and plan a couple days a week if you can with each other. That kind of stuff works wonders for staying adhered to a plan to achieve your goals. And just remember, it's consistency in time. And if you fall off the wagon for a couple days, get back on. It's when you stay off that wagon for, well, I mean, your muscle starts to atrophy. I believe it's like 24 hours right after you get done lifting, but that's kind of like, oh my goodness don't worry about it that much or I think it was like 24 or 48 anyway but consistency over time if you keep hitting those muscles and you keep eating right and, and doing your right stuff you're gonna get there so anyway I know I went a little off kilter right there but I just I just have seen too many people walk away and 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 and, and those people frankly have you know been very close to me and it, and it's uh, it's hard because of my approach in the past has <laughs> It's not been the best. It's been a know-it-all approach and a do this, do that, do this, do that, instead of working on, you know, tackling the, the, the barriers that they had and really listening. Uh, it's taken me a while, but I'm getting there. But so if you know somebody who's trying to do this, please be supportive. Don't try to tell them, even though you might be, you look like a know-it-all. Thank goodness I have people in my life that'll tell me that now. They didn't a while ago. Uh, but I digress. Thank you guys for all your support. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you all have a really good week uh, and are successful with your goals. And if you have anything that you want me to talk about or you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I can also address them in future videos. And I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow as always. Have a great rest of your day.